Good morning all. It'll be Christmas soon and so I'm starting to think about uh, a fairy lights project. Now here's a set of uh, conventional fairy lights. These uh, use incandescent uh, tungsten filament bulbs, 20 of them, all wired in series. So the bulbs are 12 volts each. 12 times 20 is 240. 240 volts AC. So let's plug them into the mains. Oh yeah, they look quite pretty. Uh, they've got these sort of coloured um, coatings on the bulb. So they're all different colours. Yeah, they're quite pretty, but um, no, I'm thinking of something a bit different to this. Yeah, in my fairy lights project, I want to use LEDs, of course. Uh, so here are some cheap pound shop LED fairy lights. They're battery powered. Uh, these letters, if you string them all out, do say Merry Christmas. Let's try them. Yeah, they're not bad. Uh, just regular white LEDs. Now, of course, these are all wired in parallel because we've only got three volts here. But uh, yeah, they're still not quite what I want. I want something altogether a bit brighter. Now, I'm thinking something more like this. 100 watt LEDs. So I've got 10 of these things here. You can get these really cheaply now. And I've got to decide how to turn these into fairy lights. So I've uh, cut some uh, pieces of wire here and I'm just going to uh, tin the ends. So I'm just warming up my soldering iron. So I'll just start uh, tinning some of these wires. So that they're easier to solder onto the LEDs. Now each of these LEDs is going to need uh, somewhere between about 33 and about 36 uh, volts. So let's call it uh, about 35 volts. So 10 LEDs all wired in series. It's going to need about 350 volts to light them up. Now, where am I going to get 350 volts? The mains is only 240 volts. But of course, that's 240 volts RMS, root mean square. The peak voltage is going to be a fair bit higher than that. On the main sine wave, which looks a bit like that, not quite so wonky uh 240 volts is about here it's uh root mean square that means it's the voltage ac that would give an equivalent heating effect to 240 volts dc but because of the shape of the main sine wave of course that's much lower down on the curve this peak is actually 240 times the square root of two two uh root times 240 is oh about 340 oh now that might just hit the sweet spot so at this point here right in the middle of the half cycle the leds are going to be bright thing is though that 340 volts drops down fairly rapidly so in the sections either side they're not going to be as bright they're going to be much more dim. So they're only going to be bright uh, for this narrow section in the middle of the half cycle. Uh, below 240 volts, that's 24 volts each, these things aren't going to light at all. So they're going to be kind of off either side of these two lines here. And in the negative half cycle, what's going to happen? Well, these are diodes, so, well, nothing. Right, time for my tea break, and I do like Quality Street, so uh, I think my favourites are probably the orange and the purple ones. Mmm, yummy! Mmm, I think I had too long a tea break. Still, these gels could come in quite handy, couldn't they? I'll just cut a section out of this uh, yellow one, because I've got a feeling this is what's going to make my... Fairy lights, nice and colourful. 
Oh, and they stick pretty well onto that sort of jelly material that's on the front of the LED because it's kind of semi-tacky. I don't even think I'm going to need to use sellotape. Now, what about power dissipation? Well, nothing in the negative going half cycle, of course, because these are diodes. In the positive side, uh, nothing either side of these two lines, which mark the 240 volt boundary. That's about 24 volts per LED. In fact, they're only really going to be bright in the very top of the sine wave, which in area terms is tiny, so they probably won't get that hot. Now, this is going to give rise to a lot of flicker, though, because they're only going to be bright for a very short period, uh, completely off for the rest of the time. So, and I'm being quite serious here, if you suffer from a condition where flickering lights can trigger something like epilepsy, then I wouldn't watch the video beyond this point. Right, there we are. That's all 10 LEDs, a uh, 1,000 watts of LEDs. Although, of course, we're not going to dissipate a 1,000 watts because of this. All wired up and coloured. All I need to do now is attach a, a mains plug. And I was thinking, because these are incredibly dangerous, and they are incredibly dangerous, so if you're thinking of uh, copying this idea, well, don't, unless you really know what you're doing. I thought I'd use an incredibly dangerous mains plug and lead. Uh, not only is this plug not fused, but the spacing here around the live and neutral pins is uh, way undersized, so that's illegal. And you're not supposed to half insulate the earth pin. The earth pin should be all metal. It's illegal in three ways. Now, which is positive, live or neutral? <laughs> well, of course, it's a completely stupid question. Everyone knows that live is positive. So let's stick live onto the positive side. Well, live is positive half the time, of course. Neutral onto the negative side. Good, all done. Right, here we go then. Uh, wait for the bang. Quite scared. Oh, no bang! But they are a bit bright. Now, how warm are they? Ah, not really that warm. But uh, I'll bet you if you left them on for any length of time, they would eventually overheat. So there it is, uh, a thousand watts of LED fairy lights. Merry Christmas.